welcome back to Derby Coy. It's uh, Sunday now. What a washout yesterday was. All day, heavy showers, light showers. Didn't really stop, so I didn't get a chance to do anything. We've had rain this morning. I've got a bit of a dry spell at the moment, so uh, I'm going to get on to try and get a couple of little jobs done if I can today. I want to clean me skimmer out. Um, I've got the jack matting in there I want to clear out. Give that a clean. Um, I want to put a spin around here. Look, uh, my tower, as you can see there. Um, I'm going to try and put a bit more media in. Uh, I'd rather that at the moment, I was well, like I say in the last video, I'm, I'm just fine tweaks. I'm going to try. So I'm going to try uh, to put up about another litre in media. See what that does. I'd rather do that first before I mess with the flow. Uh, as I said, I haven't got a variable pump, so I want to have to alter the ball valve uh, on the where I got my bypass. So um, I just want to put another liter in, see if that what different that, that makes, um, and see how it goes. Then if I have to alter the uh, the flow, I'll alter the flow. But I say I just want to try that first, a few little tweaks, see how we get on. So uh, let me get my stuff together. I don't want to clean this skimmer out. Back in a bit. Okay, I just wanted to show you this. This is what the skimmer's catching at the moment. That's a rotten bulb off the uh, lilies. You can see all this stuff. You can see all this stuck down the bottom on the jack matting. So, putting this jack matting in, get some of it out. Look, it's stuck in all of this big stuff actually going through the pump and uh, getting chopped up and getting caught in my upflow filter. So, it is. Doing a great job stopping all the uh, big stuff. Uh, going into my upflow filter, and the upflow filter is doing a great job getting some of the fines out. So, jobs are good. Isn't? Okay, I just want to show you the Japanese matting. So it shows you it is actually catching quite a lot of the crap in there that's underneath. So it's doing a pretty good job on that one. So let's give that a clear out. Just get the hose on this one. Get that nice and clear. Okay guys, so I've just cleaned out the skimmer. Uh, that's all done. I've give the pond a bit of a sweep. I didn't vacuum it because I've been sweeping it with the rain. I've been sweeping it for a few days, so that's murky the pond up a bit. So you may see some bits coming through here. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is I want to give it a clean. It has been three days now since my, my first clean. And as you can see, it's quite a bit dirty again. As I said, I've been, especially yesterday, I really gave it a good sweep yesterday, trying to get anything stuck on the bottom, any bits lying on the corners and stuff. So I want to give it another clean now boil it out and uh, I want to try and get that media in um, at least another meat, uh, meter liter so uh, let's get this on the boil I'm not going to show you what comes out but I'll show you it boiling so you can hopefully see especially at the bottom what's coming out of it and how dirty it is so let me get it set up to, to clean and uh, we'll get it done okay this is boil number two Again, after three days, you can see down the bottom how dirty that is again. So I'll let that boil for a minute and I'll flush that out and I'll give you another rinse again. Then I'll take the top off, I'll uh, take this off, undo this, and put at least another um, litre of media in there. So let that boil for a minute and we'll flush it out. Okay guys, there you go, um, it's all flushed out and up and running again, I only give it the one flush this time, I think that was more than enough to clear it out, it hasn't been that long. Um, while I'm here, somebody in the comments mentioned, uh, why haven't I got a non-return valve on my air to stop the water coming back up to the pump? Uh, the reason I didn't put one in was because of this, I have got a ball valve in which I turn off because it's running that one and my EasyPod. Um, so, there's no way of water actually getting past this 
when it's turned off but uh, thinking about it on reflection if for any reason I actually forget to shut that off or somebody cleans it for me if I go away or whatever else and I get the uh, friends or family to come and check on the pond and, and do a clean for me and they forget to turn it off um, I don't want water obviously getting back to the pump so on reflection I think it is a good idea I can't remember who made the comment uh, but thank you to I did think about it I thought oh, the ball bell would be fine but on reflection like I say if I forget to turn that off uh, I think it could be a problem um, I don't know if it will actually get this high I'm not 100% but I say the water could be forced through here so it may um, I don't want to try it just to find out so I have ordered one and it should be here in the next couple of days so I am going to fit one obviously down the bottom somewhere down there um, below this uh, just in case like I say if I forget to turn that off or somebody else does it for me and they forget it could cause a problem and I don't want it obviously damaging my pump so yeah all up and running again so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut it down again lower the water level a bit and uh, I'm going to get this top off I'm going to get another litre of at least a litre in of media and see how we go on with that and get it back up and running so I'll see you in a minute before I put the media in I've just had a thought what I'm actually going to do I'm actually leaving it's all running at the moment um, so what I'm actually going to do on it while I'm here just to see as a test I'm going to open the valve as if I've left it open and see how high the water actually comes up if you get starts to getting too close I'll shut it off and I'll put the air on and force it back out so um, let me just open it up I don't know if you can see uh, straight away opening that up it's come past it's actually about here at the moment the valves open and it's actually going to get higher so at the moment it hasn't come past this side I don't know if you can actually see if you're close enough you might see it bouncing around down near the airline so that's where the water's gone to at the moment it may over time come further up here I'll have to see but I'm thinking if it does come there it's going to come up this pipe before it goes up that pipe anyway so but yeah if you can actually see it or not on camera that's the air that's where the water level is at the moment the pressure in there is keeping it there but over time it may force more out but as I say at the moment it hasn't come up this far yet but I, that's even that to be honest here let's have another look where it is somewhere here uh, yes see it bouncing around there even that is too close for me to be honest so yes if I do leave it off it's going to come to here it may work its way up further but I don't want to take that chance so I am going to I have, like I say, I have ordered one I want to put a, a non-return valve somewhere down there below this just in case so yeah let's have another look yeah it hasn't come up there so it hasn't come past this and it's still open so but I don't want to take that chance okay I've put about another litre in there Actually, a difference in colour in just a week. So, uh, open the inlet and get it back up and running. There you go. Now, obviously, we can't see the new media because it's gone up into this, but you see how much was in there. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that does now. If that catches, hopefully, catch some more. It should do. Um, over here I'll quickly show you the pond as I said I had give it a uh, sweep and a vacuum the skimmer out so the water is a little murky because I've uh, disturbed it a lot so I let this run for a couple of hours as it is get some of this murkiness out and then I'm gonna stick some clay in the pond as you see my lilies are still doing well uh, this cold weather has really knocked them back really bad but I've got a flower there and I've still got one there coming up uh, but yeah this um, cold weather we've had not been great weather so much of the British summer really has knocked the lilies back they're still going okay 
if you see that, I'll uh, extend the pole. Put it over there. As you can see on that one, just down up. And they were coming up last week and the cold snap we had again. Really, I just knocked them back on there, so. But yeah, uh, again, I had a message, somebody asked me, um, how old are my lilies? Um, I've had them, approximately, I'd say I've had them 12 years. Um, originally they were my mother's, my late mother's in, a, in her pond. She had a koi pond and goldfish in there as well. And they're originally hers when, uh, and she gave me an off, off cut of the rhizome, some off cuts. And this is what they are. And I've, I've had them, I'll say, 12 years. And I'm estimating she had them probably five or six before that, maybe. I'm not 100%. So they are 17, 18 years in total. And uh, a couple of years ago, or two or three years before the YouTube channel, uh, I was actually at my old house in my old pond, which was I just had the goldfish in, which are in here. I've got four of the original fish, which were my mother's, so they are very special to me. I'll never get rid of those. Um, I'd say of three and a half to four years ago, maybe something like that. I actually the, the rhizomes were getting far too big for the basket, so I broke them down again and I gave some away. Um, and I'm after that again with these in a couple of years. We'll have to wait and see. See how the baskets go in the winter. I'll have a look at the roots. See how big they're getting. If they're getting too big for the baskets, I will break them down and uh, re repot them up again. Uh, I might have, if somebody's after someone I do, I'll let you know. <laughs> or I'll uh, just throw them away. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, going absolutely fantastic still at the moment. Still lots of growth. As with my um, watercress, I've come back again, but again the other day, I was having to go through it again, especially that one again, that little one there, um, I'll the right go at that one again as you can see, there's bits of it through the lilies, there's bits of it down there and bits of it here still, and obviously I showed you what was in the skimmer earlier, uh, so yeah, but doing there its job, absolutely fantastic, unfortunately it is a bit murky because me cleaning the, the bottom off. But all the fish are doing well, and Henry's still hungry, or Henrietta, he's still hungry. Put a little bit of growth on this season, not as much as we'd like, we haven't had the sun obviously, the warm weather. Uh, but yeah, all got him good, I would like, there's a couple of other fish I'm looking for, so I might have to, I'm thinking of moving a couple on at some point. I'm not doing as well as I'd hoped for myself. Um, but there is a couple I'd like. Just have to wait and see where I can get. Well, like I said, that for now, it might be next year, but I will be moving two or three on, maybe. To make room for some others. But yeah, all good for now. So, quick look back in here. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's all up and running still. Yes, yeah, so I've still got a. I've got my, my waste dryer pipe there. I've still got to put another hole, as there's a hole in this one for the easy part. I've got to put another hole in to put the waste in from my upflow filter. And over there, I've still got to put my build my brickwork up and put my uh, cover on and cover all that in. So hopefully we get some nice weather in the week after work and I can get that done. Yeah. Apart from that, all the fish are doing well, like I say. I'll eat it again, put food in, and I come up for it eating it, even on these colder days. They're still after the food. As you see, I fed them out not so long ago, and I want more, so I will give them a little bit more now. But yeah, that's it for now, so I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, it's been about two hours since I did the clean and uh, swept the pond. <clears throat> something two two and a half hours something like that so a lot of it has been cleared up for now it's a lot better than it was so let me just spin you around right um, what I want to do now is uh, I want to use my bypass 
it's been probably over a week so I'm a couple of days late so I want to put some clay in and uh, I finally got some it's the fuck yeah finally got some uh, it's about, about a week and a half two weeks something like that finally turned up there was a problem with the courier letting the company down um, so I got didn't do too bad in the end they actually because it was so late it's supposed to be next day they actually give me the postage of free so I got a refund on the postage so it went too bad in the end but I finally got it uh, some of my well not my I've got some fuck so uh, I'm gonna give that a try because I'm still having um, problems with fly and larvae and stuff I'll just spin you around to show you here that was a fresh fly strip uh, last night and as you can see I've been messing with the filters and that today there's flies and bits everywhere so I'm going to give this fuck a try uh, hopefully that's going to get them under control but I am, I am going to have to use my bypass obviously so let me spin you back around right um, first thing I'm going to do is going to measure out uh, 50 grams uh, when I open the packet up and I'll put this in a container so I don't knock it over so I get the scales on Tub on top, and zero it, and measure out. Not too much. 50 grams. So, <clears throat> there's 50 grams, and as always, I'm going to use my DK shaker and get it into here without spinning it everywhere. And give it a shake. So I'm going to treat this like midi clay with the shake. So I'm going to shake a little bit of shake and then I'm going to let it settle for a couple of minutes just to soak in the water. And uh, while that's settling in, go out and do the bypass. Okay, so I'll leave that to settle. And we'll get on to that bypass. Right, so we're going to the bypass. Um, I don't need to leave this open, so I'll leave it all and turn it off. So I'm going to open up the bypass and close up the inlet and the return. So now, hopefully, you, I don't know if you've actually seen that in my hand in the way. <laughs> I opened up the bypass, closed off these two. So the water is now coming in and straight back round. It's actually not going through my upflow filter. So that's my bypass sorted. And so there's nothing going into the upflow filter now. So I'm going to leave that bypass on for, what time are we now? Half past four. At least five hours, I'll try and get six if I can. I'm going to put the clay in, leave for five, maybe six hours. So it's actually not getting removed by my upflow filter. And this is actually just going through the bottom drain where all the stuff is and everything else, and just through my normal filters. So let's get the clay in. Okay, time to get it in. I've got to say, it doesn't mix as well as the Medi clay. I've really been in that a good shake. And it settles the bottom so I have to keep mixing it round and just pour it around the pond and see how it goes. And it's gonna send me water a lovely pink colour. Let's get some over this side. I 
and as you can see he's taking no notice of me let me do all the work again while he sits there relaxing <laughs> As you can see, look, a little bit in the bottom still, so it doesn't mix as well. But I don't think that's a problem. You can actually see it's suspended. I don't know if you're showing it up, but it suspends it in the water a bit, so. And we'll go through. See what that does. I might just do a couple of treatments with this just to. See if it helps with them flies, and then go to one week with this, one week to be medically. I'll see how it goes. Hi guys, welcome back. It's uh, Thursday. Just got in from work, and yes, and all my more logs. <laughs> um, so yeah, got in from work. It's been four days since I put my fuck cleaning um, <clears throat> so I haven't done any cleaning well obviously done my normal filters or anything else I put the fuck clay in and I um, put it on bypass for about six hours just under just under six hours and then um, turn the bypass off so it came back through my upload filter and I haven't cleaned the upload filter since um, so is it better than Mediclay? Um, firstly it didn't cloud the pond up as much as Mediclay does to start with so it cleared a lot quicker and especially as soon as I put the upflow filter on so I, I turned it, the upflow uh, back on after six hours about nine half nine something like that on the evening in fact I think it was close to ten nearly ten o'clock anyway and then I uh, got up in the morning, which was approximately another six and a half hours later, and the pond was perfectly clear. So within them six hours, in total, well, 12 hours roughly in total, the pond was completely clear. Whether that's anything to do with the upflow filter, uh, I don't know. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Um, so I'll spin you around just to show you. So there you go. There's my upflow filter at the moment. That's after four days in there, um, and like I say, I haven't cleaned it, but I am going to do it today. Um, let's bring you back round. I'm, I'm going to do it today because, I, as I said, I've got my uh, one-way valve. I want to put that in. Um, as I said, the water itself hasn't come any higher. Oh, at the moment, it's actually there at the moment. So, um, it hasn't, well, it's not actually there, the thing's on. <laughs> that's not there, that's just a mark, where are we? Yeah. It's actually up to the, the ball valve. So if I open it, it would come up, so. It hasn't come past the wall valve, but if I had forgot to close that off, there would have been an issue. Uh, right, so, still on about the, uh, this clay. Is it any better than Mediclay? As you all know, I love Mediclay. I'm really an advocate for Mediclay, I do like it. Um, is it any better than Mediclay? It's far too early to tell. Um, the main reason I wanted to give it a try was because I've heard uh, that it helps with the larvae um, in the pond. So, but again, that's probably too early to tell. So, you know, I'll show you my fly strip. <laughs> As you can see, I do suffer with larvae, and yes, there is some flies around still. On, you know, if you can see them on the window, which doesn't need clean, to be honest. Um, so, I do suffer with larvae in the filter, and when I do my purge, there's a lot in the bottom drain, um, which actually come out. So, that's one of the main reasons I wanted to try this uh, new Fock clay. Well, it's not new, but new to me. Uh, yeah, it is probably too early to tell whether the, the, the clay itself uh, helps prevent um, when they lay the eggs or, or even stop, the, uh, stop them from laying eggs. I don't know how it works, if it does work in that way, uh, but there is larvae obviously still in the system. When I opened my easy pod a couple of days ago, there was quite a few larvae in the, on the side of the easy pod and in the upflow filter there was a few. 
So, but the main thing, as soon as I haven't opened, so I've just come in from work, I haven't opened the easy pod yet. Uh, that's when I normally get a waft of flies coming out. So, um, we'll open it together and we'll see what comes out. So, let me spin you around. Okay, um, so here we go. Yes, there's flies coming out. There's one on there. Got the lid. Um, is there as many? I'm hard to tell. I don't think there's as many in there. Um, I can't see the actual larvae. There's still a few in there actually, but there was a load of larvae down this section down here. Um, I don't know if you'll. You can see in there. Probably actually put them on. And that one maybe has some light in there. Just if you can see the pipe down there. Yeah, there, was, there was a load in there. So let me get my hand in and see what's down there. That's where they all were. Let's see anyone found there was a load down there. So whether they've hatched or I don't know to be honest, I can't, actually can't see actually that many in there. And in the upflow filter, there's these, but I don't know if that's the larvae. A couple of little black streaks, but I don't know if they're larvae to be honest. That's just the flow of the water pushing the stuff. Until I turn it off and see if they're moving. Let's get this lid out of the way. Okay, so let me just turn off, shut that down, turn off the skimmer. So flow. And yeah, there's, there's a little, a few in there. There's some larvae in there. You can only think it's picking her up. Let's see. Is there actually picking the larvae up, moving around in there? So there is larvae in there. Um, but like I said, whether this fuck actually helps with with the flies, and is it is it gonna? Once they've hatched, is it going to stop them coming in? Only time will tell. So, it's some obviously needs more testing. I am going to continue to use it, um, but I do want to do a comparison against my Mediclay. So, um, what I'm want to do is it'll be possibly tomorrow or Sunday. I'm going to put some Mediclay in. I'm going to turn the bypass on for again. Give it those six hours to get it working, then turn the bypass back off. So it's coming through my upflow filter and it will give me a good test then to see how much is still in the pond, if it clears it by morning. So, because with Mediclay, it is a bit finer, I think, the powder, so it does murky the water a little bit more. Uh, so it's gonna be a good test in that. So once a week I'm doing Mediclay and then every other week I'm going to do the fox, so one week fox, one week medically. Um, let me have a warmer here, I'll have a quick look in the pond. Actually, the water is lovely and clear. Um, the day after putting the clay in, I must admit, the, the more on the morning, uh, the water was sparkling. It really was sparkling, but it is still lovely and clear. I know it's difficult to see with this glare but it is lovely and clear and uh, this is <laughs> it's from somebody who doesn't like <laughs> uh, yeah water is lovely and clear um, again too early to tell compared to the uh, mediclay because the mediclay I'm, I really think that does a good job on the water as well to be honest so um, yeah that's it so uh, something we need to I need to, not we. <laughs> uh, I need to keep my eye on. Let me spin you back round. Yeah, so um, it's something I need to keep my eye on. Um, compare the two, it's like I say, a lot more testing to do, so uh, I don't know yet. Um, jury's out. It did a great job of, like I say, it was sparkling the next day and the water is lovely and clear. So it was doing a great job that way. Uh, like I say, compared to the Medicaid, I don't know, it's the first time I've used it. As I said, my main thing was hopefully it's going to reduce these flies and hopefully clear them up completely. Um, well, one thing I am struggling to find is, uh, let me see, as you can see, I'll show you. It's all in Japanese. 
Um, so there's no English on there in any way. Um, so I, uh, I know India Koi Pond Lifestyle. Uh, got a copy of the instructions in English, how to use it, which I've got. I did screenshot it and wrote them down, the directions. But I, what I'd like to find, if possible, is what is actually in the in the, the fock, uh, the ingredients, uh, so what it's made up of, so I can do a comparison and find out what each ingredient is supposed to do. There's a lot of these ingredients out there with all these uh, fancy terms and fancy names. So I would like to find out what's in, in the fock to uh, see what each one does. And if there is something in there that's supposed to help with the uh, larvae, um, it'd just be interesting for my own research and, and uh, stuff that way. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we get on. If anybody can, knows where you can find these ingredients, uh, if you just send me an email or a message or you know a Facebook message or whatever, and uh, send me a link to the, if you find a web page or something like that, send me a link, I'd really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I want to um, boil the upload filter drop it down get the water out and uh, fit my one-way valve so let's get on to that one okay that's the upflow kit cleaned again and as you can see I've put in my non-return valve so it's running now I've left this open and the water's here so um, if I do forget to turn it uh, that's not a problem. The reason I'm keeping this on because if I do want to clean my easy pod, I do need to shut that off and then open my easy pod so it cleans this. All the air comes into my easy pod and nothing goes to my upflow filter. So, uh, but I'm closing them both when I don't need them just in case. Um, so I don't forget. So I know where I am anyway. So, yeah, close that. But if I do forget, as somebody did mention, good idea. Um, and nothing was passed here anyway. If I opened it, it only it only came to here. Anyway, so but if I do forget, it's no problem. It's come, not coming anywhere now. But that's a lot cleaner. I'm up and running again now. So yeah, jobs are good. Okay, one thing I want to say. I've just had to order some new new roll of filter floss, which arrived today. I know the same size as I always do, but just to show you a slight difference, and if you can see the difference in that, if it's showing up on camera. But this one in my hand is my original one. That's uh, 18 to 22 mil, and this is 18 to 22 mil, but it feels more like 12 to 15. To be honest, it's nowhere near as thick. You can see my hand through that one really easy, but with this one. You can't. I can't see through that one, but this one. You can see the shadow of my hand on that. You can see that. Now, but if I do this one again in the light, you can see it, but nowhere near as much. So, yeah, just be careful of that. Um, I think that's when I say 18 to 22, it can be anywhere from that. And, that, and that's probably like 15 to 18, that's probably just about 18, and that's more on the 22. You can see how thick that is, compared to how thick that is in there. Just don't see them anywhere near the same. I don't know if it's showing you see there, look, the difference on them. So yeah, um, it'll do the job. Put that back over there. Yeah, so it'll do the job, but I'm just a little disappointed because this stuff is absolutely brilliant at that thickness. Really is good. So I'm just gonna have to double up on it. As you know, I, I do use it in my top of my backy river. It really does get a lot of stuff out. Um, to be honest, not as much. I've been doing it used to this every day. I have to clean this out every day, but since I've had that little beauty in, I'm doing it probably every other day now. So yeah, that's really helped out on that. That's it. Really good. So yeah. So let me spin you back round. Right. So as I said, more tests um, to do with the fock and medicalay between the two. Really impressed with the fock so far. 
uh, as in the clarity, it really has helped the pond that way. Just like the Mediclar when I put that, it really does help. Fingers crossed it's going to help with the uh, larvae a little bit um, to reduce those, hopefully get rid of them. Have to see. Uh, but maybe because they're already in the system and the eggs there and the hatching, um, once, I think once, maybe once they've all hatched what's in there, hopefully the, the fog will stop uh, any more laying eggs in there and uh, causing a problem that way. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. Uh, yeah, and as I said, if anybody knows where we can get the ingredients for the fock, uh, so I can do a bit of research, see what's in it and what they're supposed to do, that would be fantastic. Uh, send me a email or Facebook page, would be absolutely fantastic, or Facebook page, Facebook message even, would be absolutely brilliant. Um, jobs for coming up this weekend. I'm hoping to get my, I've got to get it done, I've got to get the brickwork done to put my manhole cover in and get the pipes covered up, um, insulate them and cover them up. Um, who knows, I might even get some slabbing done. <laughs> I've been pouring it off for so long, I've got to get it, some of this slabbing finished. I hate slabbing. Uh, yeah, so that's it for now. So um, if you haven't subscribed already, we really appreciate it. You hit that subscribe button, it really does help me out. A thumbs up would be fantastic. Don't forget to press the little bell to get your notifications. Um, that's it for now. So until the next one, as always, stay safe. Jobs are good.